I'm going to do some practice for a Siamese Mahjong tournament that I hope to be playing in soon. When you get 28 random tiles and you need to figure out a direction to go, that can take a little while. So I like to desensitize myself to that pressure by doing what I call Siamese sprints. This is where I try to make decisions in under two minutes with how to proceed with those 28 tiles. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell, that way you won't miss anything. Let's do Siamese Sprints. I have all my tiles out, they've been mixed. I've got my smartphone ready with a stopwatch app. We're gonna do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up and we'll take an average. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you're intermediate, give yourself three minutes, and then to push yourself, try the other thresholds until you're comfortable with those shorter times. It will help your confidence with decision-making. I guarantee it. Okay, so for this, I see a lot of 369. I'm just going to pull all my 369s together because there's some great opportunity there. All 369s right there. 369. We have a red and a flower. 369 with flowers, the very first hand. I wouldn't really pick a hand until I ran out of discards, so I would keep these just to see. Then for the next one, I would do either something with the twos or the sevens. I think there's a much more there's much more flexibility with one, two, three, four than with consecutive sevens. So I would play one, two, three, four consecutive. Three, six, nine, one, two, three, four leveraging the twos. I think I would even keep this dragon because we could play one, two, three. No, that's the wrong way. That's backwards. Two. This would take a lot of work. But that's what I would do. You know, the other thing we could do is maybe play a two, four, six, eight instead. <laughs> three discards with Joker bait. We're in between one, two, three, four. I think we don't need that. One, two, three, four, or two, four, six, eight. Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think, I think probably even though there are funky gaps in here, I think this probably would still be doable with really good picking. Two, oh, here we go. Two, three, four with dragon. There we go. Two, three, four with dragon. That's a possibility. I really wouldn't pick a hand though until I ran out of discards. We could even do one, two, three mixed suits, um, leveraging maybe the jokers. So I think that's how I play this. If you would do something differently for this sprint, write sprint one and what you would do. And let's go ahead and do another one.
Uh oh. Oh goodness me. Okay, here we have flowers, easts, and then we have six, eight. So I think a two, four, six, eight for sure. So I'm just going to pull all the two, four, six, eight together. Oops. Okay, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. That's probably how I do this. Two, two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight in one suit. Use that for the gap. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe if I drew well, even a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Then up here, I think I would play odds. It's kind of a funky mix there. I think there are more little odds than big odds, maybe. Odds, two, four, six, eight, joker bait, discards. Let's see here if there's something better. That's I don't even know how many there probably there are probably eight, ten, twelve discards. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Let's see here. Uh six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. Okay, I wonder if six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four would be better. Let's just pull it together. Wow, the way these really lined out were terrible. Look at that. No multiples at all. And up here, six, eight, nine, six, eight. I still think two, four, six, eight, and odds would be better. Oh, that was rough. Really, really rough. Maybe six, seven, eight with six, seven, eight. And then down here, one, two. Hmm. Yeah, rough. This would take a lot of work, but I think that's what I would do. Either six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, three consecutive, or evens and odds. Oh, this was really tough. Right what you would do with these tiles, right sprint two and what you would have done differently that one threw me for a loop three minutes and 12 seconds that was terrible okay i need to practice let's do another one Look at all those wins. I think I would try for a quint or news with dragons. Let's see. News with dragons, maybe. Then down here we have one, four, five, seven, seven, five, twelve. 7, 5, 
there is the beginnings of addition here but this is terrible let's see here let's rework this because i think i would rather play a quint so we have our multiples here south red and then we have three multiples then down here maybe three six nine there's another multiple for joker bait let's see something with these dragons let's see here south red quint then down here what about let's see six seven eight three six nine it'd be nice to use those dragons let's see here let's see Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. Five, seven, five, six, seven, eight, three, six, nine. Oh, this is another really hard one. Um, I think five, six, I would hold five, six, seven, eight. And then th this would be Joker bait. I think this is how I would do it. Oh. Boy, that was rough too. Okay, I am really out of practice with the new card. It really throws you for a loop here. I would try for a quint up here, south, red, one or four. Then down here, I would gather five, six, seven, eight, hold these for joker bait, discard those. That's how I would do it. If you would do something differently with sprint three, write it in the comment section and tell me what you would do differently okay clearly i need to do more sprints and practice before this tournament because this was atrocious sprint one one minute 34 that was good the other two atrocious three minutes 12 seconds three minutes 17 seconds That's why I like to do the sprints. It forces me to make quicker decisions and it really does help with confidence. Give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. And if you find that when you play in a tournament that it helps your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.